Happy Friday, everyone. It has been a lovely spring week. I don't know about you. I've enjoyed the weather and the sunshine, and it has been full of activity. Um, I got to join several state and county leaders visiting our Germantown campus uh, to celebrate the opening of a COVID-19 vaccine site on that campus. I am so grateful for all of the behind scenes work that went into the partnership with the county, the state and Holy Cross Hospital. What a tremendous gift and I'll even say an honor that the college can be a service to our community in this way. Uh, how do I know this? We know that 10,000 people almost have taken shots at that site and it is a wonderful tribute to what a local community college can do for the community of which we remember. And remember, if you haven't been able to get a vaccine appointment yet, don't give up. I'm told doses will be increasing uh, availability, which will also make sure that you have to be pre-registered to take advantage of that. Now the state is moving uh, forward with making everyone over 16 years old eligible, so please register. To those of you who still have questions about vaccines, please check out the CDC's extensive resources on vaccine safety and impact. And don't be shy about asking questions. Uh, we have many experts at the college who are willing to share their knowledge and several who are also willing to share their experience of what it has been like to take advantage of the vaccines. Now, I want to give out a few more shout outs because, you know, we, I like a gratitude moment to the Office of Financial Aid, which is processing student assistance applications through the Coronavirus Response and Relief Supplemental Appropriation. That's a mouthful. Or you could just say Carissa, which everybody else says for short. Please remind students that they may be eligible even if they were not eligible in the last go around. I also want to acknowledge our pop-up pantry that went on this week at the Germantown campus. Even with so much additional activity happening there, they were there and delivered and met the needs of our community. I really want to thank everyone who also have been participating in our Equity Week activities. That has been, I think, some of the most best soul food uh, that we could possibly have in this moment. It's been wonderful to see so much energy, an interest, and genuine, I think, commitment around the issues of equity. So congratulations to all of you participated and deep appreciation for what this will do for Montgomery College and our culture. Finally, as we all celebrate spring and the good news about vaccines, Let's not take our guards down. I know it's a tendency, it's getting warm outside, people wanna be out and you wanna sit down and socialize. Please keep your mask on, keep your hands washed and continue to practice social distancing. Now on a related note, please keep an eye out for internet scams related to COVID vaccines uh, and any grants that people say come for COVID benefits or anything that mentions the IRS. There are plenty of bad actors out there looking to capitalize on the vulnerability in this moment. Don't share your personal information with online requesters. Just simply don't do it. Uh, we can all be lured by messages that look legitimate, that even sound a little bit, but take a minute to confirm who you're communicating with. And if all else fails, seek some help from some people who can help you figure that out. With that, I'm going to see you next week at my State of the College speech on Wednesday, where I'll be sharing with you some ideas and some plans that we're having for the next phase of Montgomery College as we respond and live through this COVID-19 pandemic. I hope that you all have a wonderful weekend, and I look forward to seeing you soon. Take care and be well.